Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about why I think it's important when you live in the Philippines to keep your circle of friends small to avoid a lot of the drama that comes with a lot of expats living in one city. Stick around. Hi guys, so this video, uh, some things happened I guess over this last week here in Dumaguete or as people like to call it drama get a with with good reason and I am not going to get into the incident that happened it happened with a vlogger at uh, the ground zero coffee shop but I'm not going to get into it you guys can look on YouTube and see uh, because I wasn't there and I don't really know exactly what happened so I don't even want to comment on it if you guys want to comment or watch uh, videos from other sources then you know feel free but uh, in this video I'm really just going to talk about why I personally kind of avoid the expats now first off I want to say that I appreciate all my viewers and I still very much enjoy meeting viewers when they message me and say hey you want to grab a coffee I'm usually always open and I try to be available however my schedule has gotten much busier being married with a family now and uh, you know I've, I've got some things that I do on a routine basis I'm at the gym Monday through Friday I think my health is uh, as you get older it's even more important to kind of watch what you eat and, and work out and therefore I, I really set that as a priority in my mornings to go to the gym and uh, eating healthy as well and I like to come back and uh, I got this great pool here at the apartment so I like to take a jump in and read a chapter usually go back and uh, you know go back in the house and you know shower and grab a coffee and then usually once a week I meet up with a group of friends and we're all about the same range of age we're all in our upper 40s early 50s we're all army vets and uh, so we, we have those two things in common, age about the same, and also we, we were army vets. And so we meet up just once a week for about an hour and a half, and that's usually good. Sometimes we'll all meet up with the, uh, the wives or the girlfriends and you know maybe meet up for a, place, a new place to eat. But other than that, I live a pretty low key life. And I've learned early on since living here that most of the times problems occur it, it occurs with other expats and I've said this many times throughout the years that any problems you have here in the Philippines most of the time it's gonna happen with other expats Filipinos you probably will never have a problem with but expats is uh, where the issues start to come in now again the majority of the other expats are just here like everybody else like myself and everyone else just trying to live a better life a quieter life enjoy retirement and so it's just a very small few of expats that give the other ones a bad name and unfortunately I hate to say it but unfortunately it's usually the Americans not always but um, it, it seems to be that way so yeah not not uh, not a not a good thing to represent the country. At first, I used to really like. Uh, I, I would love to go hang out with uh, a lot of foreigners. I would go to the coffee shops and hang out and chat. And and I realized that a lot of these guys, again, this is just a small amount of of these guys, really have nothing going on. They don't they don't go to the gym. They don't uh, have any kind of hobby or anything to fall back on. And their day is sitting around coffee shops or bars which is even worse you start mixing alcohol into it and uh, gossiping you know and chatting back and forth uh, about things going on and who who did this and who did that and uh, sometimes jealousy you know maybe somebody's got a younger hotter Filipino wife or you know maybe this person went here or this person lives in this nice place and oh we got a car and it just seems to it be over petty stuff usually but again I've learned early on that it's better just to avoid that 
So, you know, like me and my friends, we meet at a private cop, like a small coffee shop where there's really no other foreigners. It's just us there. And if you start going to all these places that are just loaded with foreigners, well, a couple things can happen. One, you can go there and you can have a positive experience and meet people. If you don't know anybody, these places are, are usually good to try to meet people and uh, find people from your home country, maybe even state and uh, make friendships, uh, find other people that want to do certain hobbies. So it can be a good thing. And then on the other hand, it can, you can fall in with a group of guys who don't have much going on for them and uh, were miserable maybe back in their home country and they brought that misery with them. Sometimes the misery doesn't go away, they, they just bring it with. You think moving to a new country, you will be in a better place as far as uh, you know, mentally, but if you don't fix that stuff, you know, beforehand, you're just gonna bring it with. A lot of guys that I know less and less are just avoiding places like Ground Zero. It's, they seem to be like a hotbed of uh, drama, you know? And uh, myself, and I know even other vloggers, just kind of avoid it. It's why I personally, I don't usually do these meet and greets. Uh, again, I, lo I love my viewers, love them to death, and I love meeting them meet up as, as often as I can, but I usually like to do it just on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I don't like to go to some big meet and greet. Now, if the other vloggers want to do that, you know, that's more power to them. I have nothing against it. I'm just saying for me personally, I don't really do the, the meet and greets, and um, I just prefer to meet one-on-one. -on -one. And I don't really hang out at the really busy expat areas anymore. I just kind of do my own thing. I've got my own life. I kind of live outside of Dumaguete. And so even where I live, other than a couple of foreign uh, neighbors, which we all kind of keep to ourselves anyway, uh, we don't really, we don't have any drama here. And uh, we're just all looking for a quiet, better life. And uh, I have found that. So even in places like Dumaguete, you can have a quiet life. You don't need to be caught up in all the drama with the foreigners. I know Dumaguete gets a lot of bad press with the, you know, you get these fights that break out and you get this, you know, all this stuff that happens with the big group of foreigners. So, you know, if I was a single guy, I wouldn't probably live in Dumaguete. Honestly, I would, I would go live in an area that didn't have a lot of expats, which is why I really enjoy Davao a lot in certain areas of Cebu as well. Cebu, I always say that wrong. But if you already have a good girl and you want to settle down, Dumaguete is not a bad place to settle down. I've talked about this in a previous video, which you can catch up there. I talked about the three areas that I lived at extensively when I've been here in the Philippines, which was basically Davao. Cebu, Indumaguete. I've lived in other places, but just brief periods of time. And uh, I like Dumaguete because of its central location, because there are a lot of foreigners, there are a lot of different amenities and things that I can get that I wouldn't necessarily be able to get in other places. So for that reason, I do like Dumaguete, and I do believe you can avoid all the drama. It uh, really is not hard to avoid it. Just Keep your circle of friends small, you know, your close friends. It's fine to have a lot of acquaintances and people, you know, maybe you'll say hi to and chat with for a few minutes if you see them. But as far as people like you want to go hang out and do, you know, if you're into snorkeling and scuba diving or you're into meeting out at, for coffee once a week or whatever thing uh, you, you like to do, it's better to keep that group of friends small. And that's something I have learned since living here. And I would advise people who come out here to do the same. If you're going to live in heavy expat areas, Angeles City, Subic, Dumaguete, uh, Cebu in certain areas, and, and some other locations, then it's better to keep that small group of friends. And maybe acquaintances is fine, but uh, keep it small foreigners here you kind of have to really scrutinize and you have to weed out the bad ones because there are the bad ones and there are a lot of good guys like I said at the at the beginning here most of the foreigners here most of them are good guys 
Most of them just want a better life. Came here to find a good Filipina, a less expensive, less expensive living, warm weather year round, easy visa. You know, there, there's a big list of reasons. And most are good guys. I, I really, really have run into people that I said, wow, that guy is a douchebag. But there have been a few. <laughs> So that's all I'm really going to say about it. Again, keep your circle of friends small. If you don't want to be around a bunch of other foreigners, Cebu, Dumaguete, Subic, Angeles, these places aren't for you really. Better off to just go live uh, somewhere else where there's not so many foreigners. Mindanao is pretty much wide open. Bacolod, Iloilo, you know, places like that that are still very nice. A lot of amenities, but much less foreigners. So anyway, guys, if you're coming out here for the first time uh, to a new city in the Philippines, new island for a first time, you need a recommendation of where to stay. I created a where to stay updated 2024 version on my website on the main page. Just click on it. Click on the picture of the hotel that I recommend and it'll take you right to the booking page. If you want a free PDF of for moving or traveling out to the Philippines, kind of a checklist of uh, do's and don'ts and things you need and things like that, free on my website as well. Just click on the button to download or print the PDF today. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate watching. I'll look forward to reading your comments. Ciao.